वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल द नेशन नीड्स यू ऑल अबाउट एस एस पी सो दिस इज द सेकेंड एपिसोड इन आर डेडिकेटेड सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर एट एंड इन अ मोमेंट फ्रॉम नाउ आई विल बी गिविंग यू द एग्जाम्पल एंड डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ हाउ टू कॉन्डक्ट अ लेक्चर एट ऑन वन ऑफ द टॉपिक्स प्रोवाइडेड टू यू सो लेट्स चेक इट आउट Well, hello everyone. The topic that I have chosen is O B O R, which is One Belt One Road Initiative. The O B O R is a pilot project and one of the most ambitious project of the Chinese government. It is also the brainchild of the Chinese President Xi Jinping. The idea behind O B O R is to recreate the Silk Road. And under O B O R, the Chinese government will be building new uh, railway connectivity, new road connectivity, uh, the ports, and the you know different sort of oil and pipelines. And everything is done in the name of uh, enhancing the economy and enhancing the trade among different countries, which will be connected by this initiative. well uh, as far as the initiative and its success is concerned then the economists all around the world have few points to make they say that as per the obor it will enhance the presence of yuan which is the currency of china the second point that they are making is that it will be beneficial dominantly for the chinese products because it will give them cheaper and faster export the trade barriers and the tariffs that earlier china was paying it will be reduced to a new low also the chinese dominance will be felt across the southeast asia some economists even are making the point that this is done in order to play the power dynamics in the southeast asia and usa which is one of the main economic rival of china is keeping a very fair eye on this deal and this is the reason why so many tariff imposed tariff duties are being imposed on china let's consider the same from india's point of view well india had been very vocal against this obor why because it is a question over india's own sovereignty as you all might be aware that a lot of roads under the obor are passing through pok which is a disputed territory India has been vocal saying that this is passing through the Gilgit Baltistan region which is not totally under the Pakistan regime and Chinese government is ignoring or is trying to give is or is trying not to give ear to this problem but the world leaders are quite vigilant about it at various forums different countries have pointed out that the paperwork is not clear China is hiding something and in the name of loan given to other countries Chinese government is ready to even annex their territories which has already happened in Sri Lanka. So I feel that from uh, the India point of view India needs to strengthen its ties with different countries in Asia the country would be Japan and our other neighboring countries we need to warn them that the Chinese government is giving loan and in return they can take over their territory as well. Thank you. I hope that the idea was clear to you. See, there are so many factors that comes into picture when the lecture is concerned. The time is going, the bell would be ringing, then there would be your GTO, your teammates. So a lot of factors contribute. Try to keep yourself calm, and within those three minutes, try to come up with the maximum point that you can manage, and put them in a organized way. And I don't think so that thereafter there will be any problem. So all the best, everyone, and see you in the next episode.